Hello all, this video is on implementing Modbus communication protocol on DWIN HMI display. Modbus is communication protocol and we will be using RS485 as physical media. Here DWIN is used as slave the, in this first video. We have a 5 inch 800 by 480 display, capacitive touch, industrial grade. Right, uh, right side one green connector is there with T2R2 is UR2. Uh, connection T4R4 is UR4 and AB is UR5 which is RS485. This UR4 and uh, RS485 we have to implement using OS files. The connection is simple at uh, A and B we will be connecting uh, RS485 to USB device like this. Either you can use a cheaper one or a better one like this uh, from NSK and power supply is uh, 12 volt DC. For downloading uh, project files, we'll be using STGOD method. Let us start the GUI interface using DGIS software. We have some four background images. First, we have to create the .icl file. For that, go to setting, uh, DGIS, and then click the ICL tool. Select the background images, the four uh, background images, and then generate ICL store this as 32.icl under dwin underscore set folder next add the 0.hzk font file inside the dwin underscore set folder now we have got 32.icl and then 0.hzk file here we have uh, some vp address locations vp2002 and 2004 we'll be using data variable input using keyboards and 2006 for using increment decrement will be providing the data on the right hand side we have three vp for a data variable from uh, master data will be sent from master so let us add the data variables to vps from text to show add data variable one two three data variable to location 2008 provide the vp address select the color font size alignment test center and variable type is integer two bytes so copy this uh, data variable to the other locations vp locations we just need to change the vp address 2008 2008 a 2000b 2002, 4 and then 6. At uh, VP address 2006, we have up and down arrows. For this, we'll be using incremental adjustment. Provide the same VP 2006 and then adjustment method is plus plus for up arrow. Over limits is cycle, step length is 1 and the limit is 0 to 99. Copy this to the down arrow and change the adjustment method to minus minus. So the VP address and the, uh, for the keyboard input, we have to add the variable input. Go to touch control, select variable input and uh, at VP address 2002, uh, implement this data input. You can provide a, a VP address, same VP address 2002, variable type is uh, integer and uh, the integer digits, number of digits is 3. And now we have to implement the keyboard setting. First select the color and the font size. And then at the bottom select the uh, cursor color as uh, white. Select the display method as uh, direct display. And then the keyboard location is in other page. Uh, now click on keyboard setting. Select the page where we have the keyboard. Here it is 2.jpg. Now select the keyboard area. This is nothing but uh, the selecting the coordinates of the keyboard. Select the draw a box over the keyboard. The coordinates will be automatically selected. Now select the show location set and then click a dot. This is nothing but a top left coordinate. Just place a dot and then enabling limits. Let us make it as 0 to 999. Now scroll up. To the second show location click on set and then at the bottom uh, put a tick mark on display keyboard and uh, place a dot at the right top corner where you want to display the digits now the keyboard setting is over copy this and place it onto the vp2004 
and uh, we just need to change the VP to 2004. Other settings are all same. Other keyboard settings are all same. Now click on save and then generate to generate the bin files. Click uh, display and then preview. Now the incremental adjustment is working and 2002 VP click on that keyboard is uh, showing and type on the numbers now we are not getting numbers as we are not uh, implemented the keyboard touch so go to the second uh, image keyboard image and we'll be using basic touch to implement the numbers draw a box on the first number basic touch at the bottom you will be see uh, you will see the uh, hex digits for implementing the number for 0 to 9 it is uh, 00302 0039 so on the first number 1 we have to feed in the number 0031 second is 0032 like that you can copy and paste all the basic touch on these uh, numbers and finally over the cancel and uh, ok button these are all basic touch and the key value is uh, from 0030 to 0039 for the numbers the hex key values for digits 0 to 9 are implemented finally we have two more buttons c for cancel and uh, ok button for cancel the hex uh, key value is 00 f2 and for ok it is 00 f1 uh, provide the key values for these buttons all or all of these are basic touch uh, key values and finally click on save and then generate now go to display and then preview window click on the first uh, 2002 vp the keyboard will open type in the values now the key in values uh, display at a slightly lower location for to change that go to keyboard setting at the top uh, set location uh, open the keyboard and then uh, provide a click on a dot at the right top corner and then click on ok now save and then generate now you see the preview the key in values are displayed correctly so 2002 and 2004 keyboard is opening and for uh, uh, incremental adjustment 2006 vp now copy this dvin underscore set to the sd card folder and then go to the uh, dvin website and go to download go to kernel upgrade and uh, scroll down to locate the modbus we are here we have modbus master and then slave select the modbus slave and then download also from the download section development guide you can download the modbus implementation pdf file this is modbus setting guide for devin t5l download this pdf file also this will be very helpful guide and then go to the download unzip the slave modbus slave we have some files here zip files modbus 9600 our imp interest is uart5 we are going to implement rs485 on uart5 so unzip this file inside this folder you can see some uh, ASM file, bin file and LST file copy only the bin file, dot bin file this is the operating system file, dot bin file for a 115200 board and UART5 implementation RS485 copy this bin file and then paste it inside the dvin underscore set folder we have copied to the SD, SD card folder now we can uh, modify the 22.bin file using pspad editor right click the 22.bin file using pspad editor as per the development guide the modbus is uh, enabled at 0x e000 location but the vp address is in word so you have to multiply by 2 e00 into 2 is 0x 1c000 so at this location you have to uh, enable the settings for modbus go to location 0x 1c 000 the first uh, byte is 5a a5 5a a5 is to enable the modbus uh, communication you can check the development guide for this uh, list of data 
5A A5 is for initializing mod bus communication and then 0001 this is to enable the slave mod bus slave is enabled for 0001 if it is 0000 it is uh, master for slave it is 0001 and next is the baud rate of the mod bus communication which is 115200 so you have to feed in 0480 this is the hex code for 11520 you can always check the uh, development guide for uh, for these values and then 0000 which is the serial mode with uh, no parity that is 8 and 1 serial mode with no parity 8 bits and 1 stop bit that is 0000 and finally a 005a which is the device position of a slave enabled so we have 5a a5 0001 0480 0005a this is for implementing the modbus slave communication at board 115200 the other uh, settings are for uh, modbus master which is for another video now click on save now in the SD card dvin underscore set folder you have the OS file and then the configuration file remove the SD card and then place it onto the uh, dvin hardware provide the power 12 volt DC 2 amps now you can see the blue screen of uh, all the files being downloaded take a closer look it shows T5L1 chip and then the version of the software one code file three bin file one uh, the font file and then one uh, ICL file all are being downloaded remove the power remove the SD card and then provide the power back now you can see the project on the DWIN display at the top 2002 VP touch on the uh, keyboard opens you feed in the value the value will be displayed on 2002 uh, same way 2004 VP and 2006 VP incremental adjustment up and down and to the right hand side we have three more VPs uh, from uh, master we will be sending data to this locations VP locations for uh, modbus master we will be using this modbus tool uh, link is given in the description below go to the download section of the modbus tool and then download this uh, modbus pol 64 bit version this is only trial version only 10 minutes timeout and 30 days trial version but this is the best software for uh, modbus paul which is modbus master open the install this and open the modbus paul click on file new and then go to the connection click on connect and then the connection window opens before that you have to uh, click the register uh, as it is a trial version click on uh, for free registration and then select the serial port select the com port of the uh, USB to RS485 we have used and then the serial settings serial settings is 115200 baud rate and 8 data bits no parity and one stop bit and no other settings DTR or RTS we do not want untick that and the mode is RTU and the response time is uh, 1000 millisecond and delay is uh, 100 milliseconds and click on OK now you will get timeout error as we are not uh, switched on the DWIN display now we'll provide the power to the DWIN display now you can get some values on the uh, Modbus master now go to to set up uh, and then read write definition select the slave id as 1 which is that of uh, dwin display and then the function code is uh, 03 which is a read holding registers this is actually read write check at the at the bottom uh, list uh, the actual address of the plc will be 40001 for this uh, read write holding registers and then the uh, address mode select it as hex this is very important select it as his hex and only in this software this facility is there so that in the address you can directly provide the vp address vp address is 2002 and then quantity let us put it as 15 so that 15 uh, uh, values that is a uh, address values are displayed now you can see the 15 address values type in on dwin display touch on 2002 and provide the uh, from keyboard 
provide the value phi phi it will be displayed on uh, location 2 in the master and uh, for the second one provide a value 88 it will be displayed on the at location 4 which is a, a mapping to 2004 at uh, 2006 VP provide the increment uh, decrement arrow you can see the values changing at the modbus pole display which is uh, location 6 which maps to 2006 VP and to the right hand side uh, you notice the location 2008 will double click the 8th location on the master and slave ID is 1 address is 2008 provide the value 44 and then click on OK you can see the value on the DVN display and from master click on A double click on that provide a value for this let us provide a value decimal 88 and click on send 85 the value will be displayed on the DVN display now go to the location C provide a value say 90, uh, 99 and click on send the value will be displayed on the uh, DVN display this is how the Modbus uh, slave works on uh, DVN display uh, thank you for watching